Question number five, Kanwaljeet Singh Bakshi. Tena Tato Katoa. Mr. Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Commerce and ask, what steps is the government taking to help maintain New Zealand's reputation as a trusted place to do business? It's the Honourable Craig Fox. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. This week, the Companies and Limited Partnership Amendment Bill had its first reading. The bill seeks to strengthen aspects of the rules applying to the governance, registration and reorganisation of companies and limited partnerships. The reforms will help maintain New Zealand's reputation as a trusted place to do business and promote investor confidence and participation in New Zealand's capital markets. The bill seeks to strike the right balance between deterring the actions that threaten the integrity of our company registration system and maintaining the ease of business for New Zealand companies. I look forward to the Select Committee's thoughts on the bill. Kamaljeet Singh Bakshi. Supplementary question to the Minister. What other issues does the bill seek to address? The Hon. Craig Fox. Thank you, Mr Speaker. The bill will require each company registered in New Zealand to have a resident agent if there is no director living in New Zealand or an approved jurisdiction. It will give new powers to the registrar of companies to investigate and deal with non-compliance with the Companies Act. This includes the power to flag companies on the registrar that are under investigation. These are but some of the changes in the bill. I welcome the support of all parties across the House in progressing at least the first reading of this bill, and I welcome the Select Committee's views on all of these matters. The Hon. Trevor Mallard. Uh, would another step to maintain New Zealand's reputation as a trusted place to do business be to stand down a minister who solicits and receives at least $80,000 in donations in plain envelopes and fails to declare them? The Honourable Craig Foss. Uh, the bill has got nothing to do with ministerial responsibility. Point of order, Grant Robertson. Um, the the uh, bill was the subject of the supplementary question. The primary question was a general question about steps to maintain New Zealand's reputation as a trusted place to do business. I think the question was definitely in order from Mr Mallard. Well, the, this, uh, I accept the member's point of order that it certainly uh, is consistent with the primary question. I guess the Minister's answer, though, is indicating that he, as a Minister, has no responsibility for whether other Ministers uh, are stood down or not. And uh, I, I believe that's what he was, what he was saying. And, and, and that, is a, that is a fair answer, I think. And, uh, uh, but I fully accept the question as being in order. Supplementary question. Supplementary question, the Honourable Trevor Mallard. Would it help New Zealand to be seen as a trusted place to do business if ministers had sufficient capacity to remember when they receive $80,000 in plain envelopes and or paper bags? The Honourable Craig Foss. Uh, Mr Speaker, I don't know if he's referring to... One, I, I, I won't go there, Mr, Mr Speaker. The bill as drafted has absolutely nothing to do with whatever that man, man order, is uh, talking about. Order. 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 I say to the Minister, sadly the question has got nothing to do with a bill. The question asks what steps is the government taking to help maintain New Zealand's reputation as a trusted place to do business? Now the Minister may have intended order. The Minister may have intended that answer to him allow, to allow that question to allow him to talk about a bill. But the question is not constrained the supplementary questions are not constrained, they're only constrained insofar as this primary question states what it states. Now the uh, the question asked is in order. It is hypothetical, but it but it uh, <laughs> But it, uh, it, it can't be ignored because the question is, is in order, given that primary question. Craig, the Honourable. Uh, this is a point of order. Oh, no, no, just offering to put it again in case the Minister... Order, no, I think the, the Minister, I think, can recollect the question, the Honourable Craig Foss. Oh, well, I, I recollect it was a hypothetical question, uh, Mr Speaker, and there are many things that affect New Zealand's reputation. One of the best things we can do to affect New Zealand's international reputation is a good place to do business, is continuing the prudent uh, economic management that this government started about four years ago and continues to do so. 
in Cra light, uh, Grant Robertson. In light of his desire to maintain New Zealand's reputation as a trusted place to do business, is he satisfied that the Honourable John Banks has the required ethical standards to be his Associate Commerce Minister? The Honourable Craig Foss. I don't appoint Associate Ministers. <laughs> question. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Grant Robertson. Order. Order. In light of his desire to maintain New Zealand's reputation as a trusted place to do business, is it his intention to withdraw the delegations of the Associate Minister of Commerce, John Banks, in light of the revelations that he solicited donations from Sky City, Kim.com and a third party, and then signed a donation return that could not recall those donations? The Honourable Craig Foss. Oh, Mr Speaker, these reflections reflect pretty badly on the questioner. I have no responsibility for the delegations or any of the roles that's at the uh, will of the Prime Minister and Cabinet. Point of order, the Honourable Trevor Mallet. Uh, Mr Speaker, you know and I know that that minister signed those delegations. Order, not order, the Prime order, minister. no order. It's just the not true. Order, no, the members now questioning the answer. The House has to take uh, the, the minister's, at least the Speaker has to uh, take the, the minister's answer uh, as it stands. I can't be questioning whether or not ministers are giving correct answers. I can only assess whether or not they've provided an answer. And, uh, and the Minister has certainly provided an answer. Uh, supplementary question, the Honourable Trevor Mallard. Did he sign the delegation to, for John Banks as an Associate Minister? The Honourable Craig Foss. Uh, yes, Mr Speaker, and the member is correct that this Minister does sign those delegations in consultation uh, with the Prime Minister, Mr Speaker. Question number six, Jacinda Ardern. 